Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Julius. Today I'm gonna go over the newest Overwatch support hero. Her name is uh, Anna. She is a three star difficulty support sniper. And uh, I'm just gonna go over her skills really quickly and then I'm gonna go through a game with her. Um, so starting off, she has her rifle, which is called a biotic rifle. Uh, it's a long-range rifle that heals allies and damages enemies. So this is what it looks like at short range. You can just shoot at people and it heals them. Um, and then when you snipe from long distance to heal, uh, it's basically like Widowmaker. And then uh, she has like a kind of damage over time from long range. I believe it does 70 damage over a very short period of time to enemies. And then, um, yeah, that's basically her main thing. It's healing uh, allies and damaging enemies. Then she has her sleep dart, which on PC is shift, left shift. It uh, fires a dart that puts an enemy to sleep. So basically this is like, she pulls out like this extra little pistol and sleep sleeps her enemies. Um, it's quite difficult to land, I have to say. It's good for interrupting ults or just taking out like, let's say you have a mercy or something, you just take them out of the fight. Um, it will wake them up as soon as you hit them, so it is kind of important to coordinate with your team to make sure that you uh, don't waste your ability. Um, then her E is a biotic grenade, throws a grenade that heals and increases healing on allies while damaging and preventing healing on enemies. So, for example, if you throw this grenade at a Roadhog, he's not able to heal himself or be healed by a healer like Mercy or Lucio. So it's quite effective on both your teammates, but also good for enemies. This is a, a short clip here. Here it briefly heals him. This is only the only way she's also able to heal herself. So uh, that can be quite tough for her. So she doesn't really have a self-healing ability. This is her only quick self-heal. And then her ultimate ability is called Nano Boost. And it increases an ally's speed and damage while reducing damage taken. So basically they go Super Saiyan. Put this on a Genji, they go completely insane. Or in this case, you can see it on a Reinhardt. Do a lot of damage, move very quickly, and hardly take any damage. So, um, yeah, those are her four skills. Let's uh, go try it out in the game here. Let's see how that goes. I've only played her for maybe like an hour total, so let's see uh, how this game goes. So, we're about to head into a game here with Anna. We're uh, defending on Temple of Anubis. I think this is actually a map that could work quite well for her, since it's kind of a pretty good sniper map. So uh, let's see how this goes. Feels good to be home. I'm uh, using one of the epic skins. It's called Shrike, I believe. I thought this one was actually quite nice compared to the uh, legendary skins. I'm just gonna stay back and heal. And see if I can get some shots onto the enemy. My teammate here is low, but oh, Bastion's down. Couldn't really get to him. Looks like they also have a sniper, so I'm gonna have to be careful here. Oh, I hit her. I got a shot on her. So as you can see, she has uh, eight bullets to use on both allies and enemies. I just got sniped down. So whenever you hit an enemy, it damages them. It's uh, 70 damage, and then healing, I believe, is also 70 healing. And you can see I just got owned by that sniper. So she can do a little bit of damage and pretty uh, good healing as well. It's, I guess what's fun about her is that you can, you know, aim, snipe people, uh, you're just not, you're not just healing. It looks like my team just got wiped out here. I'm 
Let's see if I can sleep in. Oh, I got him. Gonna heal myself quickly. Here comes Zenyatta. Now they're defending. Looks like. Genji's still here, trying to get me. Couldn't really help uh, Bastion there, because he hit her behind the wall. So she can heal pretty well, short range. Ah, I missed my shot there. My sleeping dart missed. It is quite tough because she doesn't really have a good escape mechanism uh, outside of her sleeping dart. And, cause, you know, Lucio is quite quick and can fend for himself quite well. And Mercy has her has the ability to just fly away, but Anna doesn't really have anything like that. She just kind of has to uh, fend for herself a little. I think that is the downside of her as a support. But she is quite long range. She can heal long range, so it kind of makes up for it. If I have my ultimate right now, I could put it onto somebody. Necessary. Just trying to keep my team alive right now. I'm gonna maybe try to get at that sniper there. Just throw my uh, grenade at them. Get in there. Boosting the Roadhog here. Hopefully he can do something. Oh, we got one. You can actually throw her grenade quite far as well. Which is uh, interesting. It's not really it doesn't really work the same way as McCree's. Get back in the fight. She's running around, so you can be quite tough to hit people when they're uh, moving and trying to heal them. I can snipe someone here. I have your back. She's actually not able to do any headshots. She can only do body shots as well. So it's not like if you do a headshot, you do more damage. It's always 70 damage on enemies. And it has been many. Oh. Ah. <laughs> A lot of people here close by. I just put my grenade on them. I don't know where Reinhardt just went. Looks like he just went flying. Got my ultimate again. Got it quite quickly. Oh, I'm actually quite low HP here. Let's see if I can get a shot here on the Pharah. But it can be quite difficult to know when to switch between healing or damaging enemies. That's why you have to have very good map awareness, and I just got destroyed by that Genji there. I'm not ready to hang it up. Take your medicine. Oh, there's a Pharah here on the right side. It's just a scratch, you'll be fine. Justice! You're far out! Get in there! You're going to be okay. Uh oh. 
Oh, I just put him to sleep, but my uh, teammate damaged him there. I actually did manage to land my sleeping dart on that Winston. I basically took him out for a little bit. Fortunately, one of my teammates hit him, so... Especially if people are very close by, it can be quite difficult to target people. Like Winston's gonna try to come here on the right side. I'm a little afraid of that Farah. Ah, there we go. We got her. Trying to keep my team alive mostly because we're uh, defending, and I think that's more important than trying to a damage enemies here. Ah, junk rat. So if you do have difficulty targeting somebody, you can always throw your grenades at uh, somebody. Ah, slept them. Ah, no, the Pharah. See, that's why I was so afraid of her. She can just uh, destroy all of us. We're defending quite well, though. Still have one minute and forty seconds left here. Did some damage there to the Reaper. <laughs> Oh, I tried to stun him there. Didn't work. And again, I have my Nana boost up. Sixty seconds left. So here she gets into the range where I'm gonna have to use my uh, long range rifle. Just a scratch, you'll be fine. Uh oh, there's May. There we go. Landing my uh, stun on her. Or my sleeping dart, I should say. There's a reaper there, though. I'm gonna try to boost Zarya here. Ah, the reaper just got me from behind. Fifteen seconds. Or even less than that, five. I think we got this. We did it. Oh, I missed! Oh, that would have been such a good sleep there. Especially because he was out of sight, so would have been wouldn't have been likely for my teammates to actually damage him. That was a pretty fun game. I'm glad we won. I do have to say she's not a good solo support, so when you do play her, make sure you uh, have another support like Zenyatta, Lucio, or Mercy in your team, because she's not very good at solo healing, I would say. Uh, but other than that, she's a lot of fun. If you, uh, you'll have fun trying her out, and let me know how you like her. Thank you for watching, and see you next video.